I actually came to atmosphere when um, when I was really in a broken place and I was struggling with lustfulness and it was like a spiritual battle for me because it was no longer something I could control. I've never had church in my life. I've been kind of like, not against religion, but I have um, been very resistant to churches and, and, and religion. And so um, I was in a really dark place. I hadn't been to work for a long time. I was angry all the time and I was irritable, very depressed. I was at a particularly low point in my life and felt like I really wanted to connect with some sort of religion since I was raised without any kind of a formal religion. Throughout high school, throughout middle school even, uh, I'd never consistently attended a church. Uh, every single week I'd, I just was doing other things and so I thought well, I'm going to be here every single Sunday. Uh, and just I'm going to stay committed to this church and uh, see how see what it's all about. I had been going through sheer hell. My uh, life had been just ripped out from underneath me. And I had a dear friend uh, ask me to go to a worship night in the middle of COVID. And when I came to Atmosphere, it was purely God's love. And I um, fell in love with it. I had streamed them on Facebook during the pandemic, so I really liked the way Pastor Jim was talking. And um, one day I decided to come and, and give it a chance. The greeting that I got here, the warmth that I felt and, and how people just kind of took me in, that uh, I, and not to be too dramatic, but atmosphere changed my life. Something, something was so different. It was, a kind of church that I've never been to before. Uh, it was pure love. There was no condemnation, there was no judgment, there was no um, expectation. It was just come and be loved. Uh, it was that amazing group, uh, that amazing community of young adults, uh, which was something that I had never uh, experienced, never been a part of, it was a group of people my age, they were like honest about what they were going through, honest about what they wanted in their relationship with the Lord, and then honest in pushing each other um, to pursue Jesus as best they could. And when I started talking to Pastor Jim after he introduced himself, he totally changed what my perception of a pastor would be. But what really resonated with me was the way he delivered the message. Very engaging, very, um, animated great storytelling and how he weaves the different Bible verses into the story he's telling really captured my attention. God led me to this church and I got breakthrough like um, you know God delivered me from that lustful spirit that was you know just trying to keep me down and um, and I have freedom and I'm so um, I'm so happy that um, I was able to find this church and these godly women in my life that just pour into me and they, they lift you up, you know, in the time of need and just really showing what God's love is all about. The connections and the friendships that I've made through life groups, through attending the sermons, uh, I feel like I've, I've grown not just spiritually, but um, maturity wise and certainly been able to have a community as a means of support, as, as Jim calls it, um, battle buddies. What started happening is that this conversation began between me and God and uh, through Jim, you know, through what he shared in his, um, in his talks, it just started to change my life. It's such a huge transformation. My, my faith has exploded. Um, I'm, I'm so full of the Spirit now. I feel like I'm a walking advertisement for, for Atmosphere Church and, and, uh, and for the Lord now. At Atmosphere Church, I found contentment. I found a group of people from the congregation to especially the leadership in Pastor Jim and his family um, that actually radically served Jesus. I discovered complete acceptance. I discovered what God's love is. 
at Atmosphere Church, I found love. I was looking to find fulfillment and love, you know, through other things of this world. But God loves me, you know, and He loves everyone the same, and He wants us to just, to search for Him and just love Him. Just the same how He loves us so passionately and, and intensely. And I want everyone to know how I feel because it's so freeing to know that someone loves you and they paid, you know, just the price to have you and clean to you and just to say you're mine. I was dark. I was so dark when I got here. The atmosphere gave me my life back. 